Welcome back to Tay Deco. I'm Taylor. I'm a part-time Poshmark reseller and today's video I have another great bins thrift haul. So I did end up going to the bins on Sunday and I think I went for like two and a half hours. I think I have about 20 to 25 items to go over so it's like all the way up to like here where I'm gonna go over all this. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first item I got was this L.L. Bean Sherpa or fleece jacket. And this is an extra large tall in men's. It's also a vintage piece. Um, sometimes when you have a vintage item and it says made in USA from L.L. Bean, then those items could go for more. This one I looked up comps and I'm going to list this probably around $30. So, yeah, I'm excited for this. It's definitely a nice, substantial piece. Okay, next, this was a great find. So this was House of Harlow 1960. And I think that this was a Nicole Richie brand, and it was it sold at, like, Revolve. This is adorable. This has a dark academia feel to it. I also used um, the keyword old money and rich aesthetic. People are searching those kind of terms. But yeah, this is really cute. I like the gold hardware. The material feels really nice. It's a size large. I think I'm going to list this around $80, $85. Okay, next, this is kind of a bread and butter type piece. This is um, Tommy Hill figure, and it's a size 12. Um, very good condition. Kind of a sheath dress, v-neck with this buckle. Really cute. I use keywords like career wear, um, work. Navy blue has a zipper on the side. I think I'll probably list this for around $30, $35. Okay, these, I've never, I don't think I've sold this brand before. The brand is called Roan. Let me show you. These are an extra, extra large. The material feels great. Um, these are unlined. I think that the, the um, inseam was seven inches. I did measure that. And these shorts, they're, um, if you go to their website, the Roan website, they can be around like from anywhere to 50 to like $90 for shorts. So I think I'm gonna list these for maybe around 40 to 50. I can't remember what I listed them for. I think I already put up the listing, but yeah, I think that these are great. This should definitely sell um, this spring or summertime, so. Okay, next I have this hoodie, and this is called like Varsity Stripes, so that's what I used. I said Varsity Hoodie. Um, this is from the brand John and & Jen. And this brand is sold at places like Revolve. Um, I looked up comps on this piece and it was doing okay. It's definitely an oversized fit. This is a size small, but it would definitely fit like a medium, maybe even a large. Um, very soft material. This hasn't been worn a ton. And I think I'm going to list this maybe around $30, $35. And we'll see how that does. But yeah, this is just an excellent condition, really, really soft, oversized fit, so. Okay, next I have these soft surroundings pants, and they have this detailing at the hem. These are in excellent condition, and these are the pull-on type with the stretchy waist, which is really doing well right now. Um, and then this color is doing pretty well too. I'll use color or I'll use keywords like neutrals. Um, another keyword would probably be like minimalist, easy, comfort, pull on, slip on. Somebody took out the tag, the size tag. They just cut it off and the materials tag. So, but I mean, these feel like cotton and maybe some elastane in it, but, um, I had my mom try these on because I was like, can you give me an idea of what these 
what size this is and she said that she's pretty sure it's like a 14 so I don't know if soft surroundings goes by those sizes like 14 12 whatever or if they just have like large but if if um, they don't go by 14 I'm just gonna list these as a large Okay, next I have these Columbia, um, kind of like a track pant, and these are 100% nylon. They're in excellent condition. You can tell by this writing that it's not chipping away or anything. And then the hem, you can tell that these have barely been worn, if at all. Um, and then these are a size small. And yeah, these are just, they were lightweight, excellent condition. I think that these will sell eventually. So, okay, next I saw these and I just thought they looked really cool with all these pockets. This kind of style is pretty in right now. I'll use keywords like cargo and utility. Um, they are a jogger, and I didn't know this brand, it's called Standard Cloth. Whenever I did a Google search of standard cloth clothing, the Urban Outfitters website came up and then, yeah, and then I looked at the tag and it also had that OB number on it. So I'm going to try to look these up and um, find the stock photos. I think these are a men's. I'm probably going to have to steam them too just because this pocket looks a little wonky and I want it to look nicer. But yeah, I think these will be cool. Okay, next, this is a pretty cool piece. So a few videos ago, I did a bins haul and I found Bogner um, ski pants for kids. And then it's so weird because I found <laughs> another Bogner item. This is a vintage piece. So here's the brand. And again, this is like a luxury ski and snowboarding brand. This is a size small. I would definitely say this is like an 80s or 90s piece. You can tell by the fit of it and the cut, the color. This is in pretty good condition. It feels great. This is definitely like a nice material. This will keep you warm for sure. Um, I think I'm gonna list this for around, I'm thinking like $90 because I know vintage ski um, gear can do pretty well and then this brand does really well so yeah I'm hoping and I also think that this color is really desirable for somebody that is looking for an 80s 90s ski wear I think that this color would stick out for them so I'm pretty excited about this um, I might model it too just so that it can be filled out but yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Okay, next is this Garnet Hill, which is a great brand. Um, this is a size medium, and this is just a merino wool blend, kind of like a midi. Yeah, it's a midi skirt. It definitely needs to be lint rolled but kind of it's also just like a basic oh there's kind of a a pull right here there's not a hole but there's there's some threading i did look this over and i didn't see any holes okay so it's 42 percent merino wool 40 tensile 16 nylon and two percent spandex so pretty good yeah there are some some little threads but it doesn't appear there's any holes so Okay, next, I got this because it was in great condition, and um, I've been selling a lot of swim, so I kind of just put this in my cart. This is a one-piece bathing suit. It's in excellent condition. I checked, like, the down, down there area, and everything looked like it was brand new. Um, and then the inside, you can tell by this. This looks all pretty good in here. But the brand is called Roxanne. 
which I've never sold this brand. And the, um, the size was a 40C. So I'm hoping that when I look this up, I can find some information on this. It seems like a pretty good bathing suit, a you know, a good color. People like to wear just like black bathing suits. The fit is, is really nice. So yeah, I think that this should do well. This was pretty cool. So this is a new with tag. It's like a vintage tag. So I'll use the keyword dead stock. Um, but this has a golfer on it and um, with the embroidery. And then it says the greens collection. This is from a brand called Crable Sportswear. And then the inside is really soft fleece. So I just thought that was cool. I know like golf gear is just like, it's really doing well. I feel like golf is like having a moment. My I don't know if that's just because my husband is like obsessed with golf right now. Like all he does is like watch it on his phone. He listens to podcasts. He goes golfing. Like he's just going through a whole golf phase. So maybe I just feel like that because of him. But I don't know. I feel like it's golf is doing really well. So yeah, I think that this is pretty cool. I might list this for maybe like $35, $45. Okay, this I picked up because it was in great condition. Oh. oh my God, as I say that, I find this huge hole in the back. Oh my God, that's so funny. Look at that. So I'm gonna have to throw these away. These are just airy and I mean, other than that, they are in great condition. You can tell by the bottom and like just the fabric feels like it, it's, it's nicely made. Um, but yeah, <laughs> there's a hole right there. Okay. So I'm just going to throw these away and call that a loss. But yeah, I mean, I would have definitely just listed these for maybe like $20 if they were in great, perfect condition, but I'm just going to put these over here. Okay, next I have these Talbots. Um, you guys know what the Talbots tag looks like. And these were in great condition. This is a size medium. They're just kind of this ankle or cropped uh, like cotton pant. Really easy to wear. Slip on, pull on. Neutrals again. I mean, yeah. I might actually try these on and see if I'll like them. They're 65% cotton and 5% spandex, so pretty good. And then they're just in great condition. You can tell everything looks intact, so. Okay, this is, again, this you guys, I like picking these up, um, weighs like nothing. And this is from the brand Soma. And I really don't pick this brand up a whole lot, but I've been watching some reselling YouTube videos and people really like this brand. So I found this piece and I was like, you know what, we're going to try it out. And it was in great condition. Like everything looks really nice. It feels soft. And it was kind of a cute cut with like the halter top and then the Barbie pink. So we'll see how that does. Okay, next I have, I think these are L.L. Bean, yeah. These are L.L. Bean pants, and I again, I just really like these cargo pockets. They're a straight leg. These are a men's. Here's the back. So hopefully I can find the stock photo for these. The nice thing about L.L. Bean is they give you the item ID a lot of the time on their tag. So here's the L.L. Bean tag. And these are a men's uh, 36 and then the inseam is 32. And then this number on the LL Bean tag, that's the number I'm gonna look up. I'll Google that. So I'll type in Google LL Bean and then th that number and I'll see what comes up if there's some stock photos I can use. Um, but yeah, these just feel good. I really like LL Bean. I think they have really quality items and it's just a nice reputable brand that people really like, so. Hopefully those will do well.
Okay, this I just threw in my cart. Um, this is Eddie Bauer, and I think this is a woman's fit, it looks like, with it with it going in. You can kind of see that it's a woman's. But this is a size large. It has the embroidery here. It was in great condition. Um, it needs to be lint rolled, but other than that, like you can tell the collar, everything looks really nice. So yeah, I'll just maybe list this for 25 to 30. Okay, this um, intrigued me just because it was new with tag. And then I also saw that it said Australia. So it says Shireen Collections Australia. It has like a style number here. So hopefully I can Google that and get some information. But this is just like a black little mini dress. Um, I did look this up actually in the bins, that brand. And it, they are known for like swimwear and like swim cover-ups. So I think that's what this is, is like some kind of a swim cover-up. Um, but yeah, I'll look this up and try to find the stock photo because I think that's how this is going to sell best because you can see just by it sitting on the hanger, it doesn't look very desirable. So I'll definitely need to find some kind of a stock photo for this item. It's an extra small, oh no, wait, sorry, it's a size 6. But yeah, we'll see how that does. Again, this was lightweight and I just figured I could try out the brand, see how it does. Okay, here's a vest, and this is from Cabela's, which people really like that um, brand, and this is from Stillwater Supply Company, a size medium, and it's just a fleece vest. I'll use the keyword periwinkle because that's kind of this color that it's giving. Um, it's in excellent condition, so maybe I'll just list this for 25 bucks, I'm thinking, maybe 20 I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, people like that Cabela's. There was one, I think it was in Ohio, I grew up in Michigan, and my dad would take us sometimes to the Cabela's down in Ohio, and it was always just like a fun like little family outing, I don't know, um, but yeah. Okay, this was in excellent condition, so this is Eddie Bauer, and this is a size small, it's kind of like a mauve color. Um, Nice little like everyday dress, very casual, just throw it on, really cute. I know that these kind of dresses can do pretty well for people. Um, kind of interested to see the fabric content. Oh, somebody cut it out. So yeah, I can't tell you the fabric content, but yeah, I think this is cute. It has these big pockets. Really nice, easy dress. Okay, I have two more, or no, three more things. So this, again, I like you guys, I just like picking these up. Um, this is, let me see. But yeah, this is just a Victoria's Secret. I mean, again, this weighs like nothing. So we'll see how that does. It's a size small kind of just like sits at your waist. And then I found both of these bras. They're both Victoria's Secret and they're both the same size. So I kind of just am going to lot these up in one listing. They're in great condition. They're both a size 34C. So there's this one. Yeah, excellent condition. And then there's this one, which is very, like, thin, which is really nice. And then there's, like, an underwire part that you can tell by the inside that these are in great condition. Again, this is a 34C. And then it kind of has this logo there. And then the last item I have are these Bionic sandals. And they're in pretty good condition. Um... Usually this kind of fabric, you'll be able to see the toes in there eventually if people wear them a lot. But you can't really see that on these, so that made me feel like these are in pretty decent condition. And then the back looks pretty good, or the bottom. So, yeah, maybe I'll list these for like 20 25 Not sure. Okay, so that's everything that I have. I cannot remember how much I spent on this thrift haul. 
This was just one trip to the bins. I went like Sunday. I think I got there at like 12.30 and I left at like 2.30 or 3. So I spent maybe like two to two and a half hours at the bins and this is, this is everything that I got. I'll put up on the screen how much I ended up spending. I know I haven't been posting on my regular schedule of Mondays and Thursdays. Um, this should be up on Wednesday, but I'm hoping I'll get a video out Friday and then we'll go back to Mondays and Thursdays again. We'll see, I don't wanna make any promises. Um, I was kind of distracted the last few days because I was reading kind of an embarrassing book. Um, it's a fanfic from Harry Potter, like the Germ Germini, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, books. And it was the Draco Malfoy and the mortifying ordeal of being in love. It was so good. I was like literally, I couldn't put it down for like three days. So that's why I didn't get to my video. I also was not really working on Poshmark a whole lot. Um, I kind of was just putting it on the back burner. So that's why I didn't really have content to film. So yeah, everything was just kind of put on the back burner for the last few days, but I'm hoping to get back on my regular schedule, especially since the book is done. <laughs> I wasn't doing any listings. I wasn't working a whole lot. I was doing shipping, but um, I, sh I wish that I would have done a little bit more because my sales definitely were not great. I should have at least been like delisting and relisting because I think that could have helped with the algorithm, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm only human. So that's just how it, how it happens sometimes. Okay, so that's everything that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have such a great week and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.